AA. See you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, tell me something you'd like me to talk about, and put the hand up. I have the, well, regularly I forget to put the hand up, so I do it at the beginning because usually I hope that the conversation that's going to go on is something I'd like to talk about or listen about, but lately... It hasn't been that way. Why? Because um, on YouTube, they've been showing lots and lots and lots of videos of police brutality. Well, see, I didn't used to see them in videos. I used to see them in real life. I used to see them abuse the men and women in my neighborhood. So I've never had a high image of the police department. In grammar, they brought police officer, Hispanic, of course, because we were in a Hispanic neighborhood. a Hispanic judge, a Hispanic um, lawyer, a Hispanic police officer, and they were trying to impress us. You know, you could become. And why would you be impressed of an abu abusive system that puts people in jail for no reason? Well... I'm sitting there and I'm like, mm, whatever. And they see that. And the police officer thinks he's all this and all that. And he goes and he says, what's wrong with you? I said, nothing. I've been sitting here quiet. Why do you have a problem with that? He says, well, he says, you don't have any questions. Everybody else has questions. I said, why would I have any questions? I said, in my neighborhood, we call you. And five hours later, you appear after the person we're calling for. So all of their goods have been stolen. And he looked at me and I said, and then after you guys do nothing... We walk over to the street and look down Mojave to Central and see your car still there. And the criminals pull in as you're pulling out and they continue to steal. We call. You're still at the light. We tell them, if you radio them right now, they can catch the thieves. Five hours later, another two police officers come. <laughs> we said, why send somebody? If you're not going to send them over, don't waste your time. But they sent somebody and nobody was there to greet them. We didn't care at that point. The people weren't going to have anything left because they don't care. Then we see, we keep seeing over and over people getting abused and killed by police officers. And the only thing the police officer says, well, then I guess you won't be calling us. <laughs> I said, I never said we will. I was being quiet. I said, nobody here impresses me. You are just trying to get the first person you can and put them in jail, whether they're guilty or not. You, you're just putting people to jail, whether they're guilty or not. I said, I'm not impressed with what you're putting out here. I wouldn't want anybody I know to be one of you people. You people don't care. 
You're not catching the killer. You're putting a minority in jail because they're not making enough money for you guys to be impressed or care. And he, the judge looks at me and he says, well, if you feel like that, I said, and I said, I'm not the only one that feels like that. I'm the only one that has the nerve to say something. Because I don't care what you think. I'm here in grammar. I still have quite a few more years unless I do something stupid to allow this dude to come and beat the hell out of me and beat me to death. And he just looked at me. And he says, uh, Oh, uh, 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 uh. yeah, I thought I was expecting to get that answer. So I grew up and I kept seeing that. I saw the police officers try to run us over when we were in marching band, getting ready for band day. I saw the police officers knock the teeth out of students' mouths because they were playing craps. That's dice, rolling the dice. I've saw police officers do nothing when my brother got jumped by three white men and the dad was with them and they knew who they were. They didn't only jump Hispanic men, they jumped black men, white men, and they weren't in jail and they weren't about to try to take them to jail. Do you see the trend? Now, we're seeing a lot of black men getting killed. To be honest, I don't know if they're killing Hispanics. We're not seeing that, but they probably are. It's just that they're sweeping that under the ground and Hispanics don't have the tendency to make a noise. We seem to take it up the wazoo and we're quiet about it. But sooner or later, we're not going to be quiet about it. Police officers are going to start feeling the same bullets coming the other way. We saw that when the gangs in California got put together. We saw similarities to that when the gays got tired at Stonewall and started killing. We saw similarities at Watts. Get it. The bad guys are always the cops in all these cases. And why you claim, oh, I want to protect. But what are you protecting? Because we recently just saw you guys hit an old white man. And the sidewalks were bleeding red from his blood. And... It looked like over a thousand police officers just walked past him. They knew who hit him. They put the, fired that person. They're probably going to let him get off of that for that, which I'll be surprised if they do because it was a white man. But if they do get let him get off for that, why? And then all these other police officers go, oh, we're going to quit. Well, of course we want you to quit. Who gives a bleep if you guys quit as a stand up for your blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're no good, you piles of crap. Thank God you quit. Now they can hire some people that actually want to do the job. That's right. Do the job. When someone is killed you're not supposed to just stand around and go um yeah oh look at this it's in the let me throw it in the garbage no that right there that you're throwing into the garbage is evidence that poor child whatever her name that little girl you guys botched that one major Everything you botch, people are murdered and you don't 
find the killer unless they get guilty consciences and turn themselves in. Yeah, we have a lot of people in jail, but are they really there because they did something? Let's be honest about that. I doubt it. You just grabbed somebody up and threw them in there and claimed, oh, I beat him up. I mean, um, he confessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure he did. It's just gotten so horrible. And the thing is, is that when you go in front of the Lord, the Lord's not going to say, oh, you only killed white people. He's going to say none of these people were <laughs> guilty. You're just a murderer and off to hell for you. A lot of people try to tell you there's not a hell. There is one. And those police officers are going. Are you going to go with them? That's my question. We have a president who is going around telling people blah, 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 blah. But he's on the side of the Russians. He tried to make it look like the Democrat was, but no, it was him. Now they're trying to say that he's, that the Democrat is on the side of a, Chinese group who are also the same type of people as the Russians. So he's the one like that because he doesn't care about his own people here in America. He isn't trying to help the farmers keep their land and grow products and sell American products here in America. Nope, he's not. What he's interested in is building a wall. <laughs> Jobs are getting snatched up left and right from other countrymen. And he's saving cleaning toilets, being janitors. Well, since there are not going to be any American farm workers, you don't have those jobs for the Americans there anymore either. See what I'm saying? That guy, he don't care. He's the one that said poor people's lives don't matter. So when he heard all these black lives were being killed, he didn't even blink his eyes. He says, oh, let them handle it. What a disgusting piece of garbage. That's a human life. And everybody was surprised that the church wouldn't let him in. Well, he didn't want his church to get exploded into a billion pieces with lightning from the Lord. How dare you allow that piece of garbage to come in my church? <laughs> Because he knew that guy was phony, fake. And you know the Republicans, they'll vote for him again. Why? Because they're pretending he did something. What did he do? He made our, our lives more miserable. Now, here in Arizona, we have plateaued with that virus. And then here comes the president to Arizona. Go back to work. But for what reason? The rest of the country is still in hiatus, but not in Arizona. We're forced to go back to work. Now that virus has gone up and starting to claim lives again. Everything else has told our Mayor, governor, senators, House of Representatives, we should not. But we didn't, li they didn't listen, like always. We told them we don't want that stupid trolley. They went and found a way to get us a stupid trolley that wastes our time. We wanted a subway. We didn't want no damn trolley. And guess what? They're losing tons and tons of money off of that piece of garbage. 
it's crashing into people in cars. So if someone tells you to get a trolley for your town because the government won't give them money, tell them to tell the government to shove that money up their wazoo. Because you don't need that trolley. That trolley is just a pain in the bleep. But that's up to you and your your um, state. Our state has this piece of garbage that's just taking up space. For me, it worked for a while. I don't live near it, thank goodness. I don't have to waste my time. But the reality is, is that the police department did them the police officers did that police department a favor by quitting now you know what people not to hire back because guess what they're the enablers they're the ones that are going to watch every single bad cop harm americans And we don't need them. But what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a little message. Tell me something to talk about. And put the hand up. Because I won't come back and do it. If I've forgotten to do it. But remember. AA. See you in church.